couple of days away from the league lot on 12 October. And then Al Ahli's favourite championship will be here, starting the countdown for the 11th star. It's your Ma'at when you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting an in depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Salah Mohsen says new contract. Isulaya extend his contract. Al Ahli agreed to sell Maher. Tao participates in full training. Al Ahli to travel to Niger on the 14th of October. Amir Tawfiq, Al Ahli's head of marketing and transfers, said that our winger extended his contract for four years further, in addition to the remaining year in his contract. Amir Tawfiq, head of Al Ahli's marketing and transfers departments, announced that Amr Sulaya, Al Ahli's midfielder, extended his contract to 2024. Al Ahli agreed to sell Maher to Future, a newly promoted club to the Egyptian Premier League. Amir Tawfiq, head of Al Ahli's transfers and department, finalized all the details regarding the transfer of Maher to Future. Our South African winger, Percy Tau, participated in the team's full training session on Monday at Altich Stadium. Tau completed fitness exercises and took part in several training drills with the ball. Sayyid Abdel Hafiz, Al Ahli's director of football, announced that our first team is set to travel to Niger on the 14th of October to face Union Sportive de la Grande Mer Nationale in the first leg of the CAF Champions League round of 32. The Red Eagles will train at Tit Stadium in the morning of 14th of October and then they will depart for Niger on the same day. The team will carry out the pre match training session on 15th of October at the game's venue. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.